Yeah, for us, one of the most exciting areas nowadays is the EFR resistance. Because as you know, we have now uh, six EFR inhibitors worldwide. And osimertinib is the one that we use in the Western world, but there are others that are used in, in uh, overseas that are not osimertinib. But it's very frustrating that after 18 months of an amazing quality of life, you know, the, the patients progress, 50% of the patients progress. And then sometimes the downfall is very, very fast. So that is why uh, researching for EFR resistance is a very important topic for us. So we can provide the patients another target therapy instead of chemo. And, you know, um, we have already discovered the mechanisms of resistance for EFR, including, you know, MET resistance, HER2, a small cell transformation, uh, or, or acquiring a new, um, uh, a new mutation or fusion. So now that's why, you know, there are many companies that are developing drugs. Uh, some of them uh, have been tested like uh, amivantamab, lacertinib, uh, and, uh, and the, oh, the HER2 and HER3 inhibitors uh, with interesting results. You know, uh, that is why even if we, a lot of these agents, uh, mainly we can only rescue 30 or 40% of the patients that have failed EFR therapy. That's even better than what we do nowadays, putting these patients on palliative chemotherapy when they have failed the EFR treatment. That's why I think uh, this is a very important area. You know, in the United States, between 12 to 15% of all the patients are EFR positive. So that's why this is an unmet need, a tremendous unmet need area. And I'm very excited that as you can see in the last congresses or meetings, there are several agents coming uh, for EFR resistant with precision medicine. Because as I said, if you, if you have developed resistant to EFR with cement, but we need to target the cement, you know, giving you empirical immunotherapy or chemotherapy doesn't work. Uh, so that's why um, we are very happy that there are many agents. And I think it's only a matter of time before hopefully the FDA starts to consider some of these results. And as more results are presenting in the next uh, ASCO, ESMO and World Long, I think uh, we will hopefully have more uh, options for our patients.